Hi guys, welcome to the Social Garden First Home Buyer Series. Today, George and I are gonna be talking about the deposit stage. Welcome, George. Thanks, Nick. So, George, um, at this stage, the key issue is reducing fallovers. What are your top three tips? Yeah, look, I think the top three things to think about at this stage is transparency, celebrations, celebrating the wins, and thirdly, a smooth handover from sales to operations. Let's break down your first point around transparency. What are you talking to specifically here? Yeah, I think the key to this is really about managing expectations for the buyer. So making sure they understand what the next step in the process is going to be. Mm -hmm. And you know, that can be delivered through uh, through content and through a content nurture. But yeah, making sure it's clear that, that so that they know what's coming next. So George, let's uh, break down your second point around the celebration piece. Yep. What are you talking to? specifically there. Yeah, so I think this ties in really nicely to what we were talking about previously around uh, the nurture piece. So look, the the, the path to purchase is quite a lengthy and arduous mm. process for first time buyers. So we want to celebrate the fact that they've come to the, the end of, mm. of sort of the tricky part, I suppose, and, and deliver that through content nurtures. And mm. the other piece is we want to give them information and content that they can that just reinforces that they've made a good decision, mm -hmm. which they can share with their, their family and friends. Let's talk to your last point about the handover piece. What yep. are you talking to specifically about? Yeah, I think, look, I think this would be a pretty common one for most developers is that all too often, uh, you know, it's a great experience, the salesperson is really mm. engaged and then it kind of, there's a deafening silence um, once the prospect actually deposits. Yep. And um, again, that's obviously not a great experience for the mm. prospect. So it's really about how do we make it a really smooth handover from the salesperson to the operational, the construction manager or whoever's gonna be dealing with them through the build process. Okay. If you're ticking all those boxes, you're gonna massively reduce your risk for the prospect to fall over or cancel after the deposit. Sounds like a good place to be. Thank you for watching. Looking for more information? Download our customer journey mapping framework.